Hey my Sagittarius Angels, how you doing? Welcome to the channel, Adrian Chanel's new page of life. And for this week's reading, we're talking about soulmate love. So soulmates, a beautiful love that just sort of works and yeah, that honors your greatest path of life. And um, I want to see what comes out. I get a, a, a sense that this is going to be quite a detailed reading, so I'll see what's what's coming out. If you're first new to my channel, then I welcome you yet there we go there we go there we go it's 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 starting off like that <laughs> um, so welcome to my channel my name is adrian i'm a psychic medium holistic wellness practitioner and i've got a weekly reading for you always so you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel um hit a notification bell leave me a comment you know and every week i put a reading for you this is um sun moon rising and ascending for sagittarius for soul made love it's weird it's like i get quite a strong sense of um lots of confusion and complete clarity <laughs> because so let's let's see what's going on there um for you with that and of course you're also welcome to follow me on facebook follow me on instagram or that personal detail reading they're currently 12 us dollars for 30 minutes reading if you hear some poof, 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 poof in the back, I do apologize about that. I don't quite know what my neighbors are doing, but, um, you know, we're here for the love. So let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising and ascending. I've been watching your journey quite closely for the past couple of weeks, and I've been finding it very interesting and very, very um, exciting. All these cards okay no it's too many <laughs> let's just take the top three all right i did say i felt it's going to be a longer reading so let's see what's happening for you I, I feel that that's for many of you you are sort of it's almost like you're at a space where you are open for 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 wider guidance because the first card also came out for you to set wide open all right um sort of wanting to um move to a to a bigger phase to a higher space to a different space and phase but not quite sure how to do it so i feel whereas before um if i if i had a reading with you whatever's going to come out in this reading i never know but i feel that if before if i had to give you the sort of reading or anybody else probably for that matter you know that you would have not taken too kindly to the information you might have rebelled against it but there is such a ah oh, okay so i feel for a vast majority of yours you are it's like you sort of made a connection with a person. It felt like it was working out. And then it was not. All right. I also feel that um, very sort of domestic situation where some of you might be in a space with someone and the person might not be saying it, but you can feel the person slipping away. It's like you can feel it. You can see it. Um, you know, all the signs are there and you're not able to stop it all right so that sort of concerns you because i feel that some of you might have been in a space where you're quite confident you know with your friends and yourself you said no nah, i don't care i don't care go take your bags and go all right go and whatever bump your head on the pavement get a concussion so you forget my name you forget my address wipe your phone i don't care done and as it turns out you're not as done as you thought that you were that's why you're so open to um to guidance now be careful there with ace of swords coming out right away for you though that you want to be mindful to not lose yourself in the process okay you're such a beautiful soul, so you want to keep that. You want to stay true to who you are. 
So just be careful that when you are open for guidance, that you don't go into the space where you are willing to sacrifice yourself because then you sort of go into a space of codependence, okay? <clears throat> so, or codependency, which is, believe me, not, no, 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 not a good space, okay? Um, the lessons you can learn from entering into a codependent situation are valuable, but I'm telling you they are not pleasant lessons to learn. <laughs> okay. And this is not where you're at at the moment. You don't need to be doing that. I feel that some of you also, if you do sort of, um, you know, you become the person in the situation that um, almost like you sacrifice yourself. It's almost like you might learn a lesson that you've learned before and you didn't actually need to learn it again. Okay. All right. <laughs> Probably tripping on a water sign. It could be an earth sign, you know, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which might con um, explain some of your confusion. Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. So I've heard this for you before, Sagittarius, and I'm having it again. If you're going to want to make this work, you're going to have to speak up. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going to you're going to have to make some sort of concerted effort because if you with someone and it's kind of crumbling away, they're not going to be um, they're not going to be satisfied with crumbs. Someone is done waiting. Okay. And they're not necessarily moving, and I'm sorry to say this, I really don't mean to be disrespectful, but it's not that they are moving away from you to someone else. It's almost like there was a move made, but the move was just from you, you know? Um, there's no, I don't really get that there's bad feelings or anything like that. It's more in the sense of... You know, it's like, no, okay, so it's not going to work out, whatever, let's move on, okay? So there's, I don't feel that there's any sort of animosity being sent to you or even, you know, there's no resentment involved here. Maybe from your side, actually. Um, uh -huh. I feel that for some of you, you actually feel that this other person should have, it's almost like you are feeling that they should have felt no it's, it's like they should have seen their wrong in the situation and i feel that they are they may or may not know but it's they so they're kind of oblivious to the situation they they moved on and especially for you that is that is you know with someone in close close proximity your this other person involved here, even if, if someone had their eye on you, they just realized, like, no, oh, it's not going to work. Okay? But also remember, you can obviously turn any situation around. We are clarifying this wondrous universe walk in beauty card. Sorry about that. And the first card that came out there was a Ten of Cups which I love so much because it confirms for you that you can actually still have what you set your heart on, what you set your mind on, all right? Any sort of relationship that you go into, doesn't matter what it is, there is always some form of personal, if you want to call it that sacrifice, compromise, whatever, you know, that you need to make, always. Because that is what really takes it to the beautiful thing. But of course, sometimes people go and they over romanticize the thing and they, you know, completely pull it out of context. But um, I feel that you're getting what it what it is that you set out your mind to have. <laughs> Typical Sagittarius. So um, you may have had a certain sort of 
vision that you saw your life going a certain direction with somebody else and then somewhere down the line it didn't seem to work out and you're like oh well this is a flop you know it's like a first bank like mm, whatever not working out but um i actually feel that for some of you it could be the things that turned you off about that person initially also feel that some maybe rest decisions that were made here it's what was kind of turning you off about that person that is kind of, you know, got you pining now. But this is what I wanted to say earlier on. If you're going to make an effort, like, and, and I feel this is where some miscommunication comes in. Some of you don't want to be too over the top because you want to seem sincere. You're going to have to bring out the golden coach here. Okay? You're going to have to impress the socks of this person. And if they're not wearing socks, you're going to have to find a magical trick to first place socks on their feet. <laughs> if you're like me, I never wear shoes. Um, and so it can either work out with that person or it can really work out with the next person. But of course, you wanted to work out with this specific person. Okay? And I do feel that it can. Let me just check this quickly. Sorry about checking there. Okay. I do feel that it can. Okay. So amazing. Good work out. I feel that what you see as a challenge as a situation is actually quite simple. If you get out of your head and into your heart. Even out of your head and into your mind. Okay. It's almost like, you know, you've got obviously this very, there we go. Beautiful. You're getting what you like. Uh, you've got this independent sort of spirit that you want to do whatever it is that you want to do. Your person's got no interest in that. Okay? They, you have to communicate there what it is that you want. And I, the communication that I'm getting back, and again, water sign. Aquarius, um, sorry, not Aquarius. Could be Aquarius, actually. Um, could even be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Possibly Virgo, but I doubt it. But the communication that you're going to get back is going to be like, listen, I'm not really... If you want to be with me, you want to be with me, but these are my terms. Okay? And where this sort of conversation might not go down too well with other people because, you know, other people might feel that, yo, this brother's harsh, you know, the sister's to the point. You will appreciate that. Okay? You know that honesty that you always want, that straightforward honesty? You're about to get it. <laughs> You're about to get it. Uh, if you open that can of worms. And I think we both know that you want to. Let me just get these cards together. We both know that you want to. You want this to work. And what I like so much is that even though you want it to work, you're not in that sort of headspace where you want it to work from a point of um, ego. Okay? You want it to work because you realize that you may have misjudged this situation. Maybe it actually is the best thing for you. All right? It's funny how life can be like that sometimes, isn't it? Let's see. Okay. Definitely a water sign. Definitely a water sign. So, the universe is there to assist you whichever way you turn. You can either be with this person or another person who said you want that person. Okay. You can start dreaming about it. But you're going to have to, you know... You're going to have to be prepared to go in. Hook, line and sinker. <laughs> I feel that some of you are going into that space and, and you'll tell me that it's not true. You'll send me comments and you tell me, Adrian, this is nonsense you're speaking. But some of you are at that space where you're going into a situation where you're going to have to, you're going to have to understand how your, you know, T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. Because you're going into a space where this person is taking no nonsense. But that's your abundance. You're going into a space and you actually like it. Okay. 
it gets better. Th this is a situation, if you can make this well, it actually gets better all the time. I feel that you already met your soulmate. And you know it. Kind of cutting yourself up about it sometimes. The situation is not yet lost. The situation can be salvaged. Okay. Source. All possibility. Change. I feel that that person's thinking about you, but then they'll think about you and they go like, whatever. Because, as I said, it's, a, it's like a passing thought, you know. They'll be like, that ship has sailed. It hasn't. It hasn't for either of you. They are still thinking about you, not necessarily in the most amicable terms. Um, when I say that, what I mean is they don't, they don't visualize you being together anymore. But they are thinking about you. Because they don't want to wake up alone anymore. Okay. It won't be easy, but they're not completely close off to you. <laughs> Which kind of might frustrate them. I do feel that it's, it's it'll be a good idea to give your person closure. But just remember that that closure could lead to a whole new world. You know? Let's look at this change card. Let's finish off with that for you, Sagittarius. Look at that flying right out. You want this. You want this situation. You really do. Don't wanna wake up alone anymore. Stories that you walk through my door. Mm hmm. Overall energy you want to know how to overcome it. You'll be prepared to do what you need to do because you can see how good it can be. You can see how good it can be. And I like that. I think it's beautiful. You know, why not take a chance? Why not go for love? Let me know what's happening. Give me a comment. Give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next week. If you want to have a personal reading, 12 US dollars, 30 minutes reading, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram.